my channel and if you're new here I'm very happy to have you here welcome to our community to my channel a huge thank you to all of you for always watching my videos and supporting me I really truly appreciate it just wanted to take a minute to let you guys know that and also guys before we get into my amazing spring fragrances part two Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload. So you guys, without further delay, let's get into my spring fragrances part two. So you guys, I wanted to do a part two of my spring favorites because I posted my favorite spring fragrance video, you guys, and I realized Oh my gosh, I have so many more amazing fragrances that I love to wear in the springtime that have been wearing this spring, I mean every day. So I just was like, well, there are too many to share and what do I do? I only can do about 10 fragrances per video. Then I thought, why don't I just film a part two? You know, why don't I do like an updated kind of a part two or follow up video? of my spring favorites. So that's what I'm doing right now before the spring ends, you guys. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit more brief with my uh, fragrance details this time around, you guys. I'm trying something new. So obviously, you guys, I'm gonna leave out all the fragrances that I mentioned in my previous spring favorites video. I will link it up here and down in the description box. Watch that one after this. Don't, don't forget to do that. So I have a whole new set today that I've actually, some of them I've acquired after I filmed that video and some of them I had when I filmed that video. I just couldn't put them all in that video, you guys. I had about 20 of them that I think are top spring favorites. So the first one I wanted to talk to you about, you guys, is an amazing fragrance from a fragrance house that I just began exploring. And I don't know what took me so long to explore this fragrance house, you guys, because their fragrances are beast mode. I am talking just beast mode projection. Like you spray this in a, in a room, you guys, the entire room is going to smell like this fragrance. This fragrance house is none other than bond number nine, you guys, and this is Chinatown by Bond Number no. 9. And look at that. The back side is the same design. The colors switched. Is not neat. Uh, you guys, I don't need to spray this fragrance. Do you know how I first knew this fragrance is beast mode, you guys? So when it first arrived, I sprayed it on a blotter card and I was holding it by my computer and I sprayed it. And then of course I threw the blotter card away, you know, went about my day. And the next day, you guys, Right where I sprayed it, I could smell this fragrance like projecting all over the room. And I'm like, where is that? Did, did, did my son spill one of my fragrance bottles? Did he bring it down here and break it? Because it was that strong. And I was sniffing and sniffing. I couldn't tell where it was coming from. You guys, when I sprayed it on the blotter card, it had sprayed a little bit on my computer, on the keypad. And that was projecting from my keypad all over the room. That's how beast mode this is. Oh my goodness, like, I don't need to spray this fragrance. I'm telling you, by the way, this is gorgeous for springtime. If you ask me, it's a gorgeous white floral fragrance, you guys. It's a beast mode gorgeous white floral fragrance. Usually, I tend to stay with a little bit more like um, lighter fragrances that are not super beast mode for the springtime but you know what this one is a white floral that you can wear you know in the springtime the notes in here are perfectly appropriate for the springtime so what if it's beast mode people will smell you like 10 feet away you know like i said this is a white floral tuberose scent you guys it's very much a white floral tuberose dominant fragrance there's that slight sweet bubble gummy nest from that tuberose in this fragrance. It's a very white floral, tuberose, woody, uh, warm, spicy, very aromatic. It is also powdery, animalic and fresh. Yeah, it's a beast mode, super appropriate fragrance, I would say for the springtime, you guys. If you want like a beast mode one for springtime, 
this is the one for you. White floral fragrances are amazing and perfect for springtime. So I'm not going to go into all of the fragrance notes, you guys, but this definitely has some gorgeous white florals like Gardenia, Orange Blossom, Tuberose, which are all just stunning. And I think it opens with like Peach Blossom, which is like really like, you know, new to me. I, I don't have anything with Peach Blossom in the opening. And I think it, you know, comes with some kind of citrus note. And I believe in the base you get like sensual woody notes like sandalwood. There's, I think, a slight hint of cardamom uh, in the base. And, and there's like vanilla, I think, and like patchouli and other woody notes in the base. It's a, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, you guys. I know some of you guys, you know, on my vacation fragrance video, some of you commented and say, said that you're still in winter mode, you know, where you live, you, it's still cold. So if it's still cold, you guys, this is the one for you. And you know, some of you are having still very, very cold springs, you know, that would be the perfect uh, time for this springtime, but with a little bit of coolness in the air, this is perfect for that. This is bond number nine, Chinatown. Next, I have a very unique fragrance. I put this in this list because it is unique. It is definitely fra a fragrance that reminds me of early spring mornings with the, the dew drops on grass, you guys. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. It is a particular feeling that this fragrance gives you that is perfect for springtime. In fact, it reminds me of a springtime meadow, this fragrance right here. It's a very green woody fragrance, you guys, with very fresh notes in it. And it is one of the most unique fragrances in my collection. And it is also one of the most unique bottles, fragrance bottles in my collection. You guys probably can guess what I'm talking about. This is Aura by Mugler. This one, you guys, it, it really calls for a, a particular occasion. I wear this fragrance like when I go on picnics with my family during springtime or I'm having a beautiful day out with my family, you know, having an active day, you know, in the in the parks and stuff. If we go to the park with the kids, I wear this fragrance. Anytime I want to feel tranquil and sort of fresh, you know, like I'm running through the woods on a spring morning and I can feel the dew drops on my face. That's how I feel about this fragrance. You know what this fragrance makes me feel like, you guys? It makes me feel like I'm a nymph running through barefoot through the woods on a spring morning and I can feel the, uh, the wet grass around me and those dew drops, they're falling on my face. It's very green, woody, and aromatic, you guys. It's very special. So let me, I'm surrounded by green grass, dew drops falling on my face. I'm running through a meadow. I can hear a babbling brook, you guys. See, like it's actually surrounding, the scent bubble is now surrounding me and I'm actually being transported to that image in my head, you guys. It's amazing what fragrances can do for you. By the way, this may not be everyone's you know, favorite because it's a very particular fragrance. It's very green. But what I'm trying to say is it's not something you would wear to the grocery store. You know what I mean, you guys? I mean, you can if you want to. What I mean is if you want to be transported to a, you know, meadow kind of place in the springtime, if you are like out doing something active with your kids at a park or whatever, this is a really fresh, beautiful fragrance to wear. It calls for a, like a special type of occasion outdoors. I would definitely say this is like a outdoor kind of fragrance. It's a gorgeous fragrance for the springtime and I don't know why I didn't mention it. It's a very green, woody, vanilla, fruity, sweet, uh, citrus, aromatic white floral powdery scent, you guys. You know, that greenness in the opening comes from that rhubarb leaf, not rhubarb. You know how you get the greenness from the rhubarb in the Delina, the original? This is actually rhubarb leaf. So it's like very like a green note with bergamot. I mean, how much fresh can it get? Green and fresh in the opening, super green and fresh opening. And you know, and in the middle you get a bunch more green notes and you get beautiful white yellow florals like orange blossom and ylang ylang and then you get like a hint of pear which makes it very feminine you know so in the base it has coumarin you guys so it's kind of like 
a weird note. It can go like herbally kind of hay kind of like, or it can go sweet like almost like caramelized almonds, you know. So coumarin is a very weird note. It looks like tonka beans. And in the base you also get amberwood, sandalwood, and other woody notes with vanilla. I love this bottle, by the way. How amazing is that bottle? You guys can't actually see how like the light's actually shining through on my end. I can see like all the beauty, the green shining green in there. There's nothing in my fragrance collection like quite like this one. This is Aura by Mugler. Next I have a fragrance you guys. I actually featured one from this line in my previous spring favorites video like I linked up there. Check that for sure. And then this came after I filmed that video you guys and and this has quickly become one of my favorite springtime fragrances you guys. This is La Vie à Belle en Tonsimo. So this one is La Vie à Belle en Tonsimo or Intensement. This one is a gorgeous... Oh, ooh. This has a raspberry note in it. It's very kind of juicy this one. So this is a gorgeous orange blossom just like the La Vie à Belle Ikla, but this one has that raspberry in it which makes it very kind of juicy. It's also kind of super kind of powdery from the iris note in here and it's a very you know sweet like kind of vanilla kind of fragrance as well. So it's very vanilla, powdery, sweet, fruity, woody, white floral, warm, spicy and iris, amber and balsamic fragrance. It opens with raspberry, pink pepper and bergamot. Raspberry adds that really like juiciness, fruity juiciness to this fragrance. In the middle you have heliotrope, jasmine sambac and orange blossom which is gorgeous. Of course the two white florals you guys all know amazing. Heliotrope adds that sort of powdery touch. It's a purple flower you know. And in the base you actually have iris which adds on to that powderiness. And then the base has vanilla, um, benzoin which intensifies the vanilla scent and I believe sandalwood and patchouli as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Perfect for springtime. It is fresh, fruity, that powderiness which is amazing for that spring weather with a slight hint of still coolness in the air. Really works magic for spring weather if you ask me. This is La Vie et Belle Intensimo. Next I have a gorgeous white floral for the springtime you guys. I think it's amazing. It's powdery white floral. This house is known for making gorgeous white floral narcotic fragrances that are super powdery for women. Yeah, this is none other than Scandal Essence de Parfum by Raja Dove. I don't need to spray this one at all. I mean it's projecting out of the bottle. It's a very narcotic white floral fragrance. It's very, what can I say, bewitching kind of uh, white floral that's in here. There's something very narcotic, bewitching about the white floral that's in here with that powdery touch, that unique DNA that is Raja Parfums. Just like most of the Raja perfumes, you guys, this opens with bergamot and bergamot only, but in the middle you get that amazing concoction of gorgeous white florals like every gorgeous white floral imaginable lily of the valley orange blossom gardenia jasmine tuberose freezer and then you get uh, may rose along with those other gorgeous white florals and in the base you get that gorgeous orris which is a a note with powdery nuances adding to that powderiness with musk and sandalwood amazing for that spring weather with that slight hint of coolness still in the air. It's it's powdery fragrances you guys are amazing for springtime if you ask me. This is Candle Essence de Parfum by Raja. Next I have you guys an amazing powdery beauty. Perfect for that cool air spring weather. It's a powdery goddess. I've done a dedicated review for this. Please don't forget to check that out. I will link it up here and down in the description box. This is none other than Tiziana Terenzi Aphrodite. It's just... Oh you guys, it's a beautiful powdery fragrance with a, with a little bit of muskiness, the, the, that nice little edge from the muskiness. There's a freshness about this fragrance as well. It's at the same time very like fruity and sweet. So it's like everything in one. This is 
teensy bit of greenness to this fragrance as well very teensy bit it opens with uh, lilac lilac is an amazing fragrance note you don't really see very often you guys I love love lilac it's a gorgeous beautiful um, purple fragrance note it is slightly powdery just like the other purple blue ones and there's white currant in the opening which is you know kind of nice and juicy fresh and then adding to that juiciness is peach in the opening and then there's pink pepper I believe and vanilla in the opening so it's like sweet right away usually vanilla you get in the base notes you guys this is flipped around I don't have very many fragrances that opens with vanilla like that. It's like sweet and powdery right from the get-go. In the middle you get a bunch of really gorgeous white florals like Lily of the Valley, Tuberose, Neroli, and then you get Geranium which really usually goes with Rose. No, I see them paired up a lot, but I think Geranium really, uh, you know, kind of has like sort of roses, rose nuances to it. And then you get that iris in the in the middle as well. Again, a powdery purple flower note. And in the base, you get that sensual sandalwood, you guys, and ebony, which is, I've never seen ebony as a woody note. Ebony is this almost black, very dark, uh, tropical uh, woody note, you guys. And then this has musk and ambergris, musk with that edge ambergris, which, with that kind of aquatic marine freshness, which is where the freshness of this fragrance comes from. And then there's patchouli, I believe, as well. It's gorgeous. It is perfect, if you ask me, for the springtime, for spring weather with that powdery sweetness, with that kind of ambergris marine freshness in there at the same time. It's a very kind of like a sexy goddess emerging from the sea, kind of. You know what I mean? It, Aphrodite is a Greek goddess, as you guys know, the goddess of love and sexuality so it's very um, very much of a, of a sensual fragrance there's that sandalwood in the base it's very sensual you know the powderiness adding to that Tiziana Terenzi Aphrodite next I have one I just added to my collection you guys it's a gorgeous rose fragrance if you ask me it's perfect for springtime because of the earthiness that is in this fragrance with that fresh cut rose vibes with the earthy freshness that's in this fragrance it's a little bit herbally as well it's kind of like a herbally earthy fresh cut rose is the best way to put it you know what this is this is tom ford rose prick you guys this one is a very unique rose fragrance you guys i've never heard anyone mention the fact that this one is slightly herbally which it is you guys there's a slight herbaliness to this rose it's slightly earthy. It's very much like a fresh cut rose with that earthiness from the dirt and then at the same time a slight bit of uh, herbaliness. The herbaliness comes from the turmeric in the opening you guys. Obviously turmeric has like like those herbaly vibes. So in the opening with that Sichuan pepper, the turmeric together, it's kind of like slightly kind of spicy herbaliness there. It, it doesn't, you know, linger too, too, too long. And in the middle, you get three kinds of rose, you guys. There's May Rose, Turkish Rose, and Bulgarian Rose, which is the most expensive rose oil of all. So it's through and through rose. You can smell the rose. It's very fresh cut kind of rose that's in here. And then in the base, you get that patchouli and tonka bean. Tonka bean with that sort of vanilla scent to it. Patchouli adds to the lasting power. It's a very rose patchouli, fresh spicy, warm spicy, kind of earthy, woody, slightly herbaly, vanilla citrus fragrance, you guys. If you were digging around your rose bush, right, and you cut the rose, you get the scent of the fresh cut rose with that slight earthiness, very slight earthiness from the, from the ground, and then slight herbaliness from, a, I don't know, some kind of herbaly plant nearby that's kind of what this smells like it's it's definitely very fresh cut rose um that's in here gorgeous three different kinds of roses perfect for that spring weather with the slight hint of coolness in the air you guys this is tom ford rose prick next i have another amazing love of mine which is perfect for spring weather this is my one and only gourmet that's in here today this one is a new addition to my fragrance collection and i talk about it all the time you guys this is killian love extreme you guys oh you guys mm, don't need to spray this one this one is 
it's got great projection and sillage. This is basically like the original Love Don't Be Shy only. This one is like that with ro added rose, a big dose of rose. So it's kind of like an orange blossom Middle Eastern dessert with rose essence in it, you know? It smells super gorgeous, just stunning, you guys. I've done a dedicated review of this. I'll link it up here and down in the description box. I compared it to Love Don't Be Shy, the original. I know this is extreme. I say this all the time. It doesn't mean that this is the intense version of the original. This is elevated and that elevation comes from that added rose accord in here, which really makes this so much more sexy, sophisticated, romantic, and elegant all at the same time. This is obviously a sweet, white floral rose, you know, slightly citrus, powdery vanilla, fresh, spicy, musky fragrance, you guys. I mean, this has the same DNA as the original, almost the same notes with a slight bit of differences. In the middle, you get orange blossom and Bulgarian rose, which is the best rose, if you ask me, the most expensive rose oil. And in the base, just like the original, you get that marshmallow. And then you get vanilla musk and I think also pomegranate. This is a beautiful, gorgeous, super feminine, gorgeous, a springtime rare gomo, you know. Gourmets usually don't go that well with spring and summer but this is one of the rare ones that's a very light airy gomo killian love don't be shy extreme next i have another new addition to my fragrance collection this is from my favorite musky fragrance house you know what i'm talking about it's from narciso rodriguez this is narciso rodriguez fleur musk oh this one this one is a gorgeous mm, fresh musky rose fragrance that's very light and airy and fresh for the springtime if you ask me. This is a very rose floral fresh musky powdery soft spicy patchouli scent. It opens with pink pepper and then the middle you get rose peony and musk. In the base you get musk, amber and violet. So violet adds that powdery touch to this fragrance. The rose and the peony very very delicate and romantic in the middle. Of course, the musk adds that sexy touch. Patchouli makes it last long. There's something very light and airy about this fragrance, you guys. I don't know if they did, they don't mention it in the fragrance structure, but I'm pretty sure there's something like ambergris or some kind of aquatic note in here. They don't mention it in the fragrance composition, but I, I, I think there is something aquatic about this fragrance because I'm getting that sort of marine kind of uh, ambergris kind of burst of freshness from this. Something aquatic, I don't think they mentioned it, but I'm pretty sure that's in it. This is Narciso Fleur Musk. Next I have another rose fragrance from the same fragrance house, you guys, Narciso Rodriguez. This one is the other one I think is perfect for spring weather with that slight coolness in the air. This is a rose one. Of course, you guys know what this is. This is Narciso Rodriguez Rouge. So guys, this one is a beautiful rose fragrance with musk in it. It's very light, very airy, very feminine. It's basically rose with a bunch of delicate blue and purple flowers and gorgeous narcotic white florals, you guys doesn't get any better than that and add that musk to it yeah it's a very powdery vanilla musky rose iris violet woody sweet earthy aromatic kind of scent so it opens with iris and bulgarian rose you guys how pretty is that that's super feminine and romantic so bulgarian rose is the best kind of you know most expensive rose note and then with that gorgeous delicateness of that iris with the powdery touch super feminine opening. In the middle you get that tuberose and orange blossom with that musk which is really unique. So in the base you get a huge dose of vanilla with the tonka bean and vanilla. There's woody notes like sandalwood and I think cedarwood and other bunch of woody notes. And then there's like slight bit of earthiness from that vetiver. Really gorgeous, very fresh kind of rose fragrance. Very fresh, very powdery, super delicate, very kind of ethereal elegant rose fragrance for spring weather with that slight coolness still in the air this is narciso rouge next i have a yummy 
bubble gummy tuberose sand that I recently added to my collection, you guys. This is Mancera Velvet Vanilla. Oh my god, I don't know why it's called Velvet Vanilla because it's a tuberose scent that's very bubble gummy. I guess it's kind of velvety uh, and it's got a big dose of vanilla in it too. This is a tuberose white floral scent that it is very much like it's pulling that bubble gummy side of the tuberose quite a bit. It's probably because you know how Mancera is you know synthetic usually the, the DNA and I'm sure the tuberose in here is synthetic and because of that and it could be a good and a bad thing you know like the good thing about it is that because it's synthetic that bubble gummy aspect of tuberose is accentuated in here which is really really super awesome very feminine like very kind of girly you know it's a very tuberose white floral vanilla musky scent with fruity powdery amber animalic and slightly green nuances to it the opening notes are kind of crazy you guys there's angelica in the opening which is like a, a crazy kind of rooty green note there's pear which is very feminine as you guys know it's a very juicy feminine note uh, and, and then there's blackcurrant which is like a super burst of juicy fruity note you know like you guys know blackcurrant i always talk about blackcurrant how it's a very fresh kind of juicy uh, opening note that makes fragrances amazing adds that really juicy freshness um, and, and it has like mandarin, orange, pink pepper, and I think clove, like a very tiny tad, which I barely pick up, by the way. In the middle, you get a bunch of gorgeous white florals, including tuberose. There's tuberose, jasmine, and neroli, I believe, and then there's rose as well added there. And in the base, you get a massive dose of vanilla and musk and amber. So you guys, it's a super feminine, super girly, bubble gummy tuberose scent for springtime i think it would be the best for springtime by the way another beast mode one that's still appropriate for springtime and it's also a really great vacation fragrance i actually put this in my vacation video because this would create the most amazing scent memory during a spring vacation you guys really beautiful this is mancera velvet vanilla so you guys, that's it. So I wanted to add more to my spring favorites, you guys, because I didn't think I added enough to my last. I only could do 10 perfumes in one video. By the way, I still have more fragrances that I couldn't include, of course, you guys, because there are so many amazing fragrances. And then there are ones that I don't think are my top ones too. So I'm just like filtering out and showing you as many as you can get for the spring season before it ends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any of my content, you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We have a lot of fun over there. I will see you guys in my next video.